So if you're just wandering your way around the open farm here at Margaret's, you're very, very welcome to Welcome to Bloom. Um, we're here until Monday, so do spread the word. But this is about interaction, it's about children, it's about cooking, understanding ingredients, and in particular where our food comes from. So if you want one of the best recipe books that is available at Bloom this weekend, with Flowgast in association with Margaret's, there's a gorgeous recipe book um, that you can get after this demonstration. So it's got loads of recipes from some of the top chefs and food bloggers and a lovely little story of Margaret and her business as well. Leo, her husband, here today also. And also some of her family members employed with 30 people in the business. So what do they do? They basically have the best quality eggs in Ireland. Why? Because they've got free range hens and happy hens will equal happy eggs. So I'll get underway with a quick demonstration. If you're looking in the mirror or in the camera there, sorry, You'll see that we made these little handheld quiches. Connor and myself made them earlier on. Um, Connor was up just assisting me. And these are baked just with some phyllo pastry, some eggs, small bit of cream, bacon, chive, uh, black pepper, uh, and that's it and straight in the oven for 18 minutes. So that is one of the recipes. But the one that I'm going to demonstrate for you now is an eggy bread as a nice open sandwich. Sounds really simple because it is. And the reason that it is is cooking is simple. Anyone can cook. It's about quality ingredients, a little bit of heat, the majority of the time, and some common sense. So a recipe's there to be followed. This is what we're going to make. If you're doing a recipe, you look and you see that you have the ingredients. You set yourself up and then you start your cooking. When would I eat something like this? The week weekend if you're feeling lazy. Eggs is something you should always have in your fridge. They're just so versatile. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually cook the bread using the eggs. So we're just going to crack a couple of Margaret's eggs um, straight into the bowl here. And we're going to add to that just a pinch of cinnamon and a couple of herbs, black pepper. Okay. I'm not going with any sugar in this particular recipe because um, it just makes them too sweet. And also we want the egg to coat the bread. And I've gone for some sourdough bread deliberately. So I'll go with four eggs in this recipe, okay? And again, good quality eggs. Um, you know when you're buying, and particularly if they're quality assured and they're through the Board B app, quality assured scheme. Um, quality eggs is something that has a versatile ingredient you can bake with. You can do absolutely anything for breakfast. You can create quiches like what we've done here in handheld snacks. They're a great carrier because Eggs tend not to get too distorted. They tend to complement themselves to other ingredients, simple things like a bit of black pepper, okay? Some cheese is always good, bacon. What I'm going to add to this is um, some fresh thyme. And fresh thyme is one of those herbs that if you see a recipe for rubbed thyme, you literally rub it to release essential oils, okay? If you're using dried herbs, which is more than acceptable, uh, if they're in a little jar of sashi, just shake them up and rip them down into this. Now, when we do this eggy bread, we're going to remove it and sit it in the oven, and in the same pan as we did the bread, we're literally just going to do some bacon, some mushroom, okay, and a bit of ketchup with a sourdough bread to show you how quick and easy it is to put together, and you know this, to put together a lovely, open, light, summery sandwich. So the black pepper's in, the eggs is in, okay, which is all deliberate. The pan is on heating. Now, if you're ever heating a pan at home, you never heat a pan and oil and butter together. You heat the pan first, you have your ingredients ready, and then you drop in a little bit of the rapeseed oil. That's in there, very simply, just to stop the butter from burning. Butter, do not be afraid. Please, please do not be afraid. Butter, like eggs, is one of those fantastic Irish quality ingredients that we should never fall out with. Eggs, and in Margaret's 30 years in staying in business, eggs has stayed there within a kitchen at home and in a kitchen in a professional environment. So butter should have stayed there, it didn't, we let it go, we turned our backs on it, and you wonder now why it's so expensive. Couple of knobs of butter just into the oil, and instantly this will just basically melt away for you. So in the eggs with the herbs and the black pepper, okay, we're gonna take a bit of sourdough bread or a doorstop, push it in, very simple, anyone can do this, and just set it straight in there. Now we've got an awful habit of shaking and moving a pan when we cook. Don't men, men in particular, you know when we do the barbecue and we take over four foot in the garden and we start poking, let this sit and let it settle because the bread's already cooked, the eggs cook very quick, eggs will cook at temperatures as low as 65, 70 degrees. 
degrees. Um, and again, I'm just showing you, if you're just joining us, welcome. On behalf of Margaret and Flogas here at Bloom, we're here for the next few days as well. So come in and interact, that's what it's about. It has to be about interaction, particularly the children and getting them interested. Not just in the farm, but seeing where their food comes from. And that is the most important thing because, again, no one's fault. We sort of forgot that a little bit. Getting back to seeing the farm, the chickens, the chickens are happy, they produce the egg. You have a good quality egg which produces really good food that we've done here today. That makes us all happy. That's all we're after. We're not looking to set out and try and create a tasting menu at home. We just want to satisfy ourselves with good, genuine, honest, free-range food in the form of these eggs and otherwise. So look, all I've simply done there is added the eggs to the outside of the bread, allowed it to cook up, the butter will absorb in, that's delivered, the black pepper is beautiful, there's a natural saltiness coming from the butter, and in the same pan then that I've done these in a moment, you'll see that I'm going to go straight in to a couple of mushrooms, fresh thyme, okay, and then what we're going to add to it is we're going to dress it up with a bit of ketchup and show you that a lovely open sandwich does not need to be difficult at home. I'm using bacon, you can use what you wish. Bacon and egg is a marriage. It's a marriage that lasts, okay? Regardless of a referendum, this will last as eggs and bacon in general. So, that's it. Simple as that. Anyone can do that. Anyone can cook. That is the message I want to get out there. Nice, simple bit of sourdough bread into the egg. Um, it just basically baths itself in and around the bread, I put fresh thyme in there, pinch of cinnamon if you wish, black pepper, no sugar on this occasion, you can put it in, and just into the oven to sit for a moment, okay? Just a very low oven in terms of temperature, just to keep them warm, and then we're going to go directly and straight into the pan with some mushrooms and bacon. The same pan, we have an awful habit of washing that out, don't get rid of that, that's the flavour that we've started to create in the dish. Mushrooms again, um, personally I love mushrooms, and I love the Irish mushroom because um, when we go to a dark colour like this, look, if you went into the supermarket tomorrow, you might say, I'm going to go for a big, vibrant white mushroom. No, wait till they're a bit tired. And when they get a bit tired, they lose their moisture. And when they lose the moisture, they gain their flavour because it concentrates. Or a chestnut mushroom, which is brown. Most mushrooms run at about 90% water. Okay, that's why they're full like that. You want to let them get a bit tired. And if you see them next to the bright, vibrant white ones, take what I've done, the nice grayish brown flavor. And mushroom again cooks very quick, can be eaten raw. They're not the nicest raw. Why do we cook food? To make it more wholesome, to enjoy it. And why do we eat? To get our vitamins, to stay alive and to function. Okay, it's about the nutrition and it's about the benefit of that. But again, it could, should not be a chore. Cooking at home should not be a chore. It should be something that you get involved in and you get whoever's with you involved and it's not left to the one person all the time. Okay, mushrooms, and I'm gonna add a, the last little half of that butter. Connor was up with me earlier, weren't you, Connor? And you made these. Uh, he did a great job uh, in making these. And he's patiently waiting because I told him he's not getting them to the cool a bit. Because that's the thing when the eggs puff up, we want it to drop to a temperature. An egg should always be enjoyed, in my opinion, at a temperature around about 75 degrees. What does that mean to me and you? If boiling is 100 degrees, okay? So an egg will set at around late 60s, early 70s in terms of temperature. The likes of this to let it cool down to enjoy it. If we eat over 80 degrees, we, we kill our taste buds. It's as simple as that. So that's why you should always let food relax for a moment just before you're serving it. Okay, what does mushrooms love? Fresh thyme or dry thyme. Um, and in that, just chop it up, pop it in. Bacon's mushroom and egg is one of the best things that you can eat and bringing it all together. So I'm going to add in some fresh twist of black pepper. Again, this is seven ingredients, simple ingredients. The key ingredient here is the egg. It's as simple as that and that's all I'm deliberately trying to do. I'm going to toss those around. That's the mushrooms almost cooked at this stage and I'm going to serve it with the bacon. So weird why I'm cooking the mushrooms before the bacon and into this I'm going to add just a cup same pan a couple of slices of bacon in alongside it if you want to go and you want to grill that or if you want a bit of home cooked ham that you've glazed and you've left over from the weekend certainly do that um, and I always advise that if you're doing ham at home anyway in general it's do enough that you can slice it down and use it for the remainder of the week now bacon cooks quicker than you think bacon's not something that you put into a pan um, and you think it's going to take 15 minutes no Bacon will cook in about three minutes. The secret to good quality bacon is going with a dry cure, in my opinion. Um, and my opinion is just based on cooking at home for my children as well. I'm from a family of 12. I was telling Margaret this earlier on. And my mother was on a potato farm. So trust me, when she cooked, there was a pot of potatoes went on like that. 
We've all left home and it's come down a little bit, but she still puts on this massive pot of potato. And if I ever mention a dish for leftover potatoes, she just turns her head. She does not think there should be leftover potatoes, and potatoes should be used fresh. So uh, it's a nice Irish story from a nice Donegal Irish mommy. Okay, and that's all I want to do there with the bacon. My bread is ready as well. Okay, and it's as simple as just dressing this up. It's not rocket science, nor is cooking in general. It's quality ingredients, a bit of heat, and it's company and enjoying it, okay? I'm gonna keep saying this to you. If you're going into the kitchen going, oh, not this today again, and it's, and it's providing food for your family, change your attitude towards it. I have two heart attacks. I'm not telling you that to scare it or self-pity on me. I'm telling you because I was absolute Egypt before them running around like a madman thinking that life owed me everything and I was trying to catch up with it. And now I'm totally relaxed and chilled out. What changed? Obviously that changed me. But the attitude, and the attitude now is to sit and allow food to become your comfort, relaxation, allow it to become part of every day to say, I'm taking five minutes because I can guarantee you've taken 10 minutes to check, check Facebook. Because I take about 20 in the morning. So just build that back into our lives. It's as simple as that. And again, it's not about spending a fortune. Eggs, think about it. The quality that they are, the versatility that they are, um, they need to be in your home on a daily basis. Okay, let me grab the um, bread that has just stayed nice and warm. Just to show you the difference, if you're inviting somebody around, you know, you can put this out, you could have six, eight of these in, um, you could have your bacon grilled if you want separately, but trust me, the flavour on this is beautiful because it captures the butter, it pulls in the herb, which is thyme on this occasion, and the black pepper. So I'm just going to take one slice now. That's gorgeous, and if you want, if you wanted to sweeten that up in terms of a dessert, what you could do is do what I've done with the bread, okay? Put the sugar in, I told you to keep it out, but instead of using what we have here now, mushroom and bacon, you can go with a caramel on it and a banana. Sliced and put in there, put it on top, you'll create a caramel sauce in there, a tablespoon of the cream, drizzle it all over that, you have a quick instant dessert with eggs, bread, that's what it's about, it's just about thinking, simple as that, and that's why we're giving you a recipe book, because recipes are a guide, where did the recipes come from, for me? my mother, first and foremost, so pass them on, no one owns the cooking skills, pan frying bacon and eggs will be here when me and Margaret and everybody's gone, we'll do Margaret, so it's we're leaving something behind to pass on. Now, the bacon and a little bit of ketchup, not going to go too mad on the ketchup, small amount just onto the, and again, this is deliberately not meant to be rocket science for you, okay, it's just showing you something slightly different and slightly more versatile just to do for a open morning breakfast style of a sandwich. You can't get any simpler than that, the fresh thyme, the mushroom, and then I'm going to use a little bit of what I like as a lettuce, which is sometimes very close to being a herb, and that is rocket in general, okay? So rocket, again, if you're going to do with fresh rocket or any leaves like this, this is wild rocket, because you're probably looking at it going, that's very thick leaves for rocket. Rocket's a peppery flavor pepper already in there, so I wouldn't just go and put basil in this, because it won't work. It's as simple as that, so small bit of rocket onto that, and this is the sort of thing we're queuing up now at the weekend, because we all eat out for our breakfast now, don't we, at the weekend, and we're going simple things like this. I could describe that and commercialize it and bring it up to a local four-hour baked sourdough bread, um, eggy bread dipped in Margaret's egg, served with an infusion of local field mushrooms, dry cured bacon. You're reading it, you're going, whoo! That sounds really good, because that's our jobs, is to make that sound really good and commercial, and we'll, walk, we'll, we'll look for about 10 quid a fee for that. Make it at home, get cooking at home, and have a lazy Saturday, Sunday, or bank holiday Monday on it. These are little chai flowers that I've just taken out of my own garden before I've come down here. Now, rural, traditional Ireland, we think it's at least two slices of bacon per man, isn't it? And then we go, we'll have two, that's enough. That's enough, the cup of tea with the bread, the carbohydrate, the balance of all of that. And that again is just what I'm simply trying to prove to you. So, folks, come up, get a recipe. We're gonna cut this up, get it out to you, and send it around with some of the quiche that we've done from earlier. The team is here from Margaret's, um, but Board Bia, a big thank you to them, and also Flogas. I'm staying here, I'm gonna be here. Come up, have a chat about cooking ingredients, anything in general that can improve the way that you cook. If you improve the way that you cook, you'll improve the way you eat, and if you do that, 
you'll have a better outlook and mentality in life because food is fuel, it's as simple as that, and Margaret's egg is the best versatile carrier ingredient that you can get. And I don't have to say that, nobody should be without eggs, it's as simple as that. So um, come up and have a chat with us, we're all here as a team and that's why we're here. We're trying to inspire you to get cooking, get cooking better for yourself and for your own happiness. Okay, thank you very much. Get a recipe and um, booklet before you go and come up and have a chat by all means. Thank you.